Having those moments of insecurity, and maybe none of you can relate, where you're saying, well, I'm maybe not as successful, I'm not doing it as well as I think I should be. And at the end of the article was a link to this um, paper that a church planting guru that I've talked to, a good guy, had written. And I went and I pulled that article up, and he talked about church planting and, and the skills that a church planter needs to have, and, and the team put in place, and a variety of things. And, and, and again, I started, and, well, what was key in it is that he talked to um, this guy, Lyle Schaller, who's a big church growth, church planting guy. And, and he talked about, hey, where are you guys as one talent, five talent, and ten talent pastors? Because why are you not creating bigger churches that are more successful? Because you're ten talent pastors. Where are they? they, they it's not happening. And, and I'm looking at him saying, I really want to be a ten talent pastor. I mean, I think most guys at least, I don't know, maybe it's a little different for women. I can't speak to your experience. But I think for most guys, we really want to be successful in our career. And, and we want to be, we kind of always think in the back of our mind, I can be the best. You know, it, it's there. I am, I'm pretty good. And I'm saying, I, I really want to be that, but I'm looking at my church and I'm saying, you know, what God's done here, well, I'm not even saying what God's done here is good, because at this point I'm already down the sliding slope of, of, of discouragement, so balance is gone. Mm -hmm. I'm, going, I'm looking at everything wrong in the experience, and, and it's not growing bigger, and it's not whatever, and, and I'm going, I, I'm a horrible pastor. Maybe it's time for me to leave. I need to do something else. I need to go somewhere else. I need to do something else. Maybe I need to go back to drug driving. And... So this leads, that was Sunday. Monday, I come to the, the, the Labor Day barbecue, and there's a guy here who's a uh, pastor of a church plant uh, that launched a little bit after ours did. And uh, it's been going really, really well. They're like 500 plus members. And I sit down talking to this guy, and I'm like, so how's it going? You know, he's like, oh, I got a great team. And it's just like, passion just keeps building on itself, and the energy just keeps building on itself. I'm like, what is this, utopia? I mean, what have you ever seen this happen? I'm not thinking of getting square enough really to process the fact that perhaps he's speaking evangelistically, if you know what I mean, you know. It's a little too obvious.